with one of the headliners for Lollapalooza, Jack White, dropping that Boarding House Reach electronic album as Dave uh, at his at Martin Swagger account trademarked it this past Friday. Uh, I'm wondering, is that a good thing that, that this is Jack White's electronic album? I don't know, dude. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't the know. best the the best tweet I saw about this was. Several times while listening to Boarding House Reach, I mouthed to myself, "What the fuck?" And yet I still rolled with it. Yeah, uh, man, this is this is such a weird record. Um, just because it, I obviously the electronic production stands out so much. You know, it's so inspired by like contemporary sounds. It's ridiculous. But I mean, the, I think there's, there's a lot of weird lyrics on here. There's not enough of. Uh, you know guitar work which is kind of what he's well known for obviously mm-hmm. uh i mean i'm not the, the biggest jack white guy but it's such a far change from his first two solo records let alone any of his legendary white stripes material so uh it was definitely uh out there and odd uh what'd you think of it well I found the album at least interesting, which I can I can give him credit for. Uh, Jack White is always trying to do something different, find something unique, which I, I can credit him for. But yeah, this album fell flat in a lot of ways for me. There was maybe only like three or four songs I walked away thinking that's not too bad. Mm-hmm. And the parts I, I enjoyed the most were actually uh, the parts where Jack White wasn't singing or talking or rapping or whatever he was the doing rap- on ice uh, station zebra i mean that, that was song is weird man cringe not a good way yeah worthy uh and also why walk a dog like what why is like it every... sounds like it was a david burns song man you stop you fucking stole my joke you asshole um <laughs> but yeah man i i i found it at least intriguing and it makes sense that jack white would at least experiment with electronic sound at some point i mean blunderbuss and lazarado are two albums that are pretty classic jack white you get some some strong guitars you get some blues you get some mm-hmm. some like uh song more rocky sounding folk yeah and his songwriting is pretty much the same as it was on the white stripes uh albums but yeah jack white just isn't the same anymore like yeah he puts on a hell of a show live and like if you have the opportunity to go see him like at governor's ball please go see it but just the the music is just never going to be white stripes level i don't think and disappointing yeah well i mean um what, what was what was her name was it meg white the drummer yeah white stripes? yeah i mean i feel like His she ex-wife she, slash sister right yeah we don't have to get into that but uh <laughs> i've listened to all of the white stripes like that is what six records something it's a lot um obviously super influential really helped bring rock back in the what late 90s early 2000s right um really 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 good stuff there and uh mm-hmm. i feel like her presence kind of i don't know reined him in and, it's just funny because her her drumming definitely didn't like right and now that he's in his 40s you know he's friends with jay-z and kanye he's very mm-hmm. famous very influential in the music game it's just like he has everything at his disposal now and he does, i don't know if he he has like no direction now. He just can do whatever the hell he wants. And obviously that makes sense that he fooled around all this uh, production. that sounds like nothing he's ever done. Um, but at the same point, same, you know, other side of that coin, he kind of is just kind of going for it. And he doesn't have much to say on the record. You know, the songwriting, like you said, like the dog song, there's a lot of weird stuff on here. Yeah. And it, it just, there's, there's no reason that you needed this album to exist apart from it was just jack white decided to make it you know it's just it was just kind of disappointing for a guy of his caliber and it, i mean just like another frequent festival headline this year eminem he just makes an album that's so weird and so off from everything else he's done um and he also happens to be older and well in the game so i don't know it's weird i really like to try and grasp more of the appreciation of this on the fan side i know the yeah but this also is pretty pretty bad i want to know what like the rockheads think because the rockheads hold on to whatever rock there is but what do they think of this electronic as fuck jay jack white i am better for we'd like to see how that conversation goes yeah you know pretty much from everything i i read and heard was that this album d- wasn't received too great. I think that there's moments on it that people really enjoyed and hold on to. Uh, you know, you're. I was thinking about 
one other thing about this album that stood out to me, and that's Jack White really hates social media and he hates, you know, mm-hmm. cell phones and electronics. And it reminds me a lot of MGMT. <laughs> and uh, we, we talked, was it a year ago, two years ago, about how, why rock is dying and hip hop is rising? Yeah. And I think it, it was, was about a year ago. It was like May 2017 or something. One of our most watched YouTube videos. So check that out on our YouTube page uh, at Nostalgia Pod. Um, yeah, and I think this is a major theme I'm noticing. I mean, MGMT talked a lot about this on their album that, you know, ele- uh, social media and modern uh, electronics are destroying our society. And it's like, well, this is society now. Like, you, you, maybe you're right. Maybe <laughs> all of your critiques are, are on point, but you also are fighting against a, a major wave. And I mean, I think that's why festivals are so important now is because they're experiential and you're there and yeah, everybody has their cell phone out when their favorite song comes on or when a major moment happens, but you're still experiencing it. Um, so to like be putting down this thing that is huge in your success at this point and critical to, you know, you being an artist and people receiving your music just seems like mm-hmm. such like an old thought and like old man yelling at the clouds type of thing that, I just really hope this isn't a trend that continues. Like I hope vampire weekends. I was it like macchiato. Like uh, well, yeah, Mitsubishi the, macchiato or whatever. Yeah, the is. working title. Yeah. I hope it's not all about like why like Twitter and Instagram are destroying our lives. Cause I, I can't take much more of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I also feel like it's uh, usually pretty of a, a pretty lazy uh, observation yeah. because at the end of the day, no one's saying anything that profound. You know, it's kind of obvious. And we've heard, again, it's kind of old hat at this point.